The next important feature in LTSpice is measure. The spice command is dot mas. The measure is to evaluate user-defined electrical quantities. Dot mas is an abbreviation of measure. This is the command used to access the measurements made possible by all simulation calculations, including DC, AC, uh, transient, uh, transfer function, and noise. The result is obtained in the file of SPICE error log, which can be found by the shortcut Ctrl L. The SPICE syntax is as follows. Dot MEAS followed by the simulation type declarations and followed by the name of variable, which is the name of your measurement. The second line is the treatment over preprocessing to your expression before assigning it to the variable name. The third line is the condition or instant when the measurement must be made. The last one shows the delay time before making the measurement and also the conditions about the selected measurement. Please go to this reference for further information. This example will give you the basic idea about measurement in LTSpice. We add measurement to the existing example from the previous lecture, which is about the parameter sweeps using step command. In this case, we want to measure the average value of the output voltage over capacitor C1 during the time interval from time equal to 0 to time equals to 3 milliseconds. We put the space directive like this. We put the space directive as follows. Dot MAS trine means transient. V average, that's the name of your variable or your measurement. AVG means you want to measure the average value. V out is the measured quantity. If you right click on the mouse over this directive, you can go to the statement editor, which shows you more detailed information. If you run the SPICE simulation in time domain transient, uh, first you will see the waveform under different cases. We have six steps to run each cases. And uh, as I said before, you can go to SPICE error log or simply by Control L as a hot key. We can find the measurement at each step respectively. On the second figure, this is a measurement of V average. This is the name we give as a variable. At each step, we can see the average value. Uh, this is time interval from 0 to 3 milliseconds. So what if we want to change the time interval of the measurement? One way is to change the time to start saving data in the trending setup. We can change the time to 1 millisecond so that you can make measurement only during the time interval from 1 millisecond to the stop time 3 milliseconds. In the second example, we will measure the derivative of V out at a specific time, for example 1.2 milliseconds. The derivative of output voltage is simply the dV over dt. The unit is volt per second. Now we want to change the space directive as a new name, DERIV derive underline V out. The genre is DERIV, which is derivative. Still, the measured quantity remains at V out. After we run the transient simulation, we can see the same waveform in the first figure. And uh, if we go to the SPICE error log by Control L, we can find the measurement at each time step respectively. So the measurement has a new name, which is derivative underlying V out. You can see the measurement has a capital D. So this capital D is the syntax for derivative in LT SPICE. So this is the measurement. We can see the second case has the highest dV over dt at the moment of 1.2 milliseconds. 
uh, as I said before, the D of V out gives the instantaneous derivative of V out. So we can simply change this trace name to capital D of V out. We can see the time domain instantaneous derivative of V out. This is, uh, this is the reference that I used to prepare the slides. I found they are pretty helpful, and I believe you can explore more features by yourself. Thank you very much.